welcome back to my channel. How are you? My name is Charlie. I am currently studying here at Durham University, studying archaeology and history, and also English. What? <laughs> So this may seem a bit weird. So this year I'm taking this year I'm taking two modules in history, three modules in archaeology, and one module in English. Basically, university hasn't started yet. We start on the fifth of October. So today I basically need to get my life in order because it's a bit of a mess. First things first is to switch around here. So now we're in probably a better position. Um, I'm basically going to go on, I've currently got my kind of timetable up, although this timetable is not useful whatsoever, so basically I'll show you. Okay, so let's actually use a different module. For example, this one is called Professional Training. This is the one we have, and it says on Thursday I have lectures, and then it has like the weeks by them. So it also provides us a bit of information about it. It kind of says, oh yeah, you'll have one on like week 13, 20, 12, 16, 19, 21, 14, 15, that kind of thing. It's just, you can't use that. So I'm basically gonna have to go into my planner and basically just, where are we? It's gonna be like October, isn't it? So I'm basically gonna have to go in and basically just like write down when I have everything. Um, so that's my main task that I wanna get done just so I feel a little bit more relieved. So I'm basically going to do this for the whole of first term, just because I, I kind of need that. So I'm going to start off by going through the first one, which is developing archaeological research. This is way more confusing than I thought it would be. Like, having synchronous and asynchronous just makes everything so much harder to like process. So I've already written things in the wrong place because it's getting with my head. But we move. Oh my days. The person who wrote this, they obviously didn't proofread it. So it goes, teaching week one, two, four, three, four, five. Then it gives academic week, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. What is going on? Okay, so I basically now finish filling in my first terms modules in this and I haven't put any like tutorials or seminars because I don't know which groups I'm in. Next, I really want to kind of sort out some folders. So basically, I want to kind of organize everything. So I'm gonna create folders for each module um, and each lecture and like a little extra space for kind of like handbooks, um, assessments, etc. So let's do that now. Okay, so I basically sorted out a bunch of different folders for my modules. So within each module, I basically put um, five different folders. So I've got assessments, lectures, module handbook, other and like tutorials slash seminars. So with those, I can basically keep track of where everything is because I know last year I had stuff everywhere. Um, within each lecture, I will put each one, for example, with this one I'll put kind of like um, number one and then like whatever it's called, so like introduction. And then I know exactly what it's about because last year all I did was I basically put lecture one, lecture two, lecture three, lecture four, etc. And it meant I lost so many of the different things and it was so hard to find things. I know there is like a search tab on the folders, but even then it was hard to like figure out stuff. So it was gonna be easier if I kind of like keep track of things and like organize things thoroughly. What is going on? So the module that I was struggling with all the lectures and stuff, 
basically turns out it was the wrong handbook. So I've basically written down all the wrong stuff for one of the modules. <sighs> Why? Why would they do that? How? How did they do that? Just come up to the some trees up here overlooking like the cathedrals over in that direction. So I'm looking over there. And then the science site is all there. And it's very windy up here, but it's nice to get out on a walk and just kind of like refresh your brain, especially after kind of like anything stressful. Um, and like no one's up here, it's lovely. So yeah, I'm just gonna admire the city for a bit. Um, it's kind of like sunset, but it's kind of cloudy. So the sun will be setting very shortly. So yeah, not much sunlight. And also Durham has finally got really, really cold. So not brilliant. Oh my days. So fucking windy. Okay, so it's actually been a couple of days since I filmed the last bit. However, my friends have been raving about this app called Notion. You may have heard of it, may have not. But um, I've been playing about with it just for like a little bit. And I think it's definitely something that's gonna improve my productivity. So I'm gonna show you what I've done already. So, okay, so I haven't done a whole lot so far, but I've created a module list here. I've created a habit tracker with pretty much like all the days of the term on. And then I've also created a timetable. And um, this timetable's basically got all my lectures on for the term. Um, I'm not sure how well that focused, but I've set up a timetable, a habit tracker, and I'm starting a module page. So that's basically what I'm working on now. So the module that put the wrong handbook up have replaced it. So I've put all of that, so all of the updated lecture times onto Notion. So currently, we are being productive. It's just taking a couple of days. Me and my friends a couple of weeks ago went to Scotland. So this photo is taken of the Isle of Skye from mainland Scotland, as well as on this one, this is just another photo from Scotland. I actually did vlog my trip to Scotland. So if people want to see that, let me know because I, I, I've got footage. So yeah, if people want to see a trip around like the north coast of Scotland and the Isle of Skye. Let me know because I'll do it. Also, my friend Dom is always saying how he wants to be in the videos. So, I'm gonna go put him in the video. Dom, you fulfilling your dream of being in the right. video. Is this, is this part of the lot? Yeah. Wait a sec, wait a sec. <laughs> Start again, start, 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 start filming again. Filming Dom part two. Hey Dom, you want oh, to get in the video? Is that that one Charlie? <laughs> Guys, get in here. We are quick in the curry. That's yes. a hell of a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> I don't think you've got mushroom there. Yeah, very nice. He was practicing that in his room for about 20 minutes before he came back. <laughs> I'm just a fun guy, you know. <laughs> Okay, so now I've finished inputting all my modules down here. I've added tags to them so I can easily search for them. I've added in module conveners names, as well as the module handbooks for these two modules because these are the only ones that have the module handbooks out. And then I've also created little assessment things. So I can kind of click on these and then, so I have a little progress tab. So if I've started the module um, formative, then I can click on that and then I've also got the due date, obviously I don't know, and then what task is, and then if I need anything else, I can just add a property down here. So that's where I'm currently at. I'm smashing this Notion thing, like, it's actually really nice to do, like, stick on some music and just get, like, really focused and just, like, nail that down. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Um, basically, another day has passed. I'm still wearing the same jumper and the same top. 
but this jumper is incredibly warm so I'm going to roll with it because my room is freezing. One of my modules has become available and a introduction lecture has been posted 18 hours ago so I thought a good idea would be to kind of watch that now in preparation so I know what the module is about and I have a bit more information so that's my plan now. I'm going to be watching this here this lecture, this is actually my lecture in English, so I've never actually done an English module before. Um, this module used to be called Myth and Epic of the North, but they changed the name to Epic and Literature of Legend. It's all kind of about like Old English, Old Norse, Old French kind of literature, so like Anglo-Saxon, Viking Age, so right up my street. So yeah, really looking forward to this, so hopefully the intro is interesting. As for the start of any new academic year, I thought I'd spice up my wardrobe. So I bought myself some new jeans, so I thought I'd show them to you. So the first pair is just this kind of grey one, which is... I see! <laughs> so the first one is just this grey pair, really nice. These are all from ASOS, by the way. So next I've got this kind of blue pair. You're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> like a light wash, which I really like. <laughs> So next I have these kind of darker blue, but they're still blue, um, really nice, simple, I like them. And then next and finally I have these kind of light lilac ones, which I thought were kind of like a bit out of there, but I was like, I'm going to give them a go. I think, yeah, they're quite nice. <laughs> these guys are just sat down here judging me as I like, film this segment. <laughs> you cannot put that in your video. <laughs> I'm just playing Among Us, fucking nerds. Yeah. Absolute nerds. I prefer Jack Edwards. You're gonna win. I've been called out. I've been called out, my career's over. Um, I'll see you never. <laughs>